The jobs are gone very soon. Uh, this new paper came out today. You only look at screens, multimodal chain of action agents. Crazy. Basically, uh, it can just look at your computer screen, take screenshots, and it knows it can move around and click buttons and use the UI and everything, and it's just a language model. Um, stick around. It's going to keep getting crazier in this paper as to how good it is. Uh, so first off, existing approaches commonly rely on external tools such as optical character recognition, which is the thing that turns PDFs into text, uh, and icon detectors uh, to parse the environment into textual elements uh, as inputs to a language model. Basically, like ChatGPT, it's, it's a language model that does text, right? Uh, in previous examples, we have to actually, previous methods, we have to turn whatever input type, the screenshots and the websites, into text and then have it interact with that. That's what used to happen. This new paper, though, doesn't do that. It actually uses screenshots directly. You can literally see what's on your screen. Um, second, most existing approaches are under the sandbox setting that requires accessing internal APIs to interact with the environment. However, in practice, the API interface is often inaccessible in third-party applications. So the big problem with using text-based stuff is you have to be able to interact back with it also in text, right? Um, uh, and basically what that means is that you have to have do API calls, which are just little like computer commands that say like, please do this for me. Um, but API calls are not available for everything, not available for most things. Uh, in terms of just inter interacting, tapping apps on your iPhone, whatever, there are no API calls available, right? It's not a thing. I'm um, going through your computer and all that stuff. It's not a thing. So these have been big, big problems. But um, what we have here, uh, these challenges have motivated more advanced techniques that are capable of first principles thinking, allowing direct interactions on the screen without needing access to intermediate environment parsing or interval application dependent APIs. To address the challenges, we introduced AutoUI, a multimodal approach that directly interacts with the interface. It's a model that can directly interact with your screen, can directly do things. If this isn't like obvious why this is a big deal, um, white collar jobs, a lot of them, <sighs> all we do is sit in the computer all day, right? And like GPT-4 and whatnot already have crazy reasoning abilities that I would argue is past some people in certain contexts. <sighs> Experimental results show that auto UI achieves state-of-the-art performance with an action type prediction accuracy of 90%, meaning it knows what to do with 90%, and an action success rate of 74%, meaning it actually can perform the action with 74% accuracy. Keep in mind, though, those uh, percents are an underestimate. I'll show you why later. Scroll, scroll. Uh, auto UI is a multimodal agent that decides what action to take given the input screenshot and a user instruction. So it does take user instructions um, and the current system they have going here takes user instructions like um, look up the best rated coffee maker on Lowe's, right? And it looks at a screenshot and it um, sees the screenshot, image encoder, uh, language encoder, it, um, can make an action and everything does all this stuff. But keep in mind, these goals in this um, paper, it does pretty simple goals, like look up the best rated coffee maker on Lowe's. But um, extrapolate a bit to a smart language model like GPT-4. Um, imagine you give it a broad goal, like research this topic and make a presentation on it. And then that smart, broad language model then gives all the tiny individual tasks to a model like this to actually look up something, whatever it might be. Um, come on, come on. Uh, the, the possibilities here for job replacement are just so crazy. Uh, it is state of the art, so comparing to other previous methods, it does beat them. Um, we're going to get into this unified annotation thing here in a second. Accuracy rate 74%, which isn't that crazy of a state of the art um, when you compare it like this. But it's not just the number, it's also these two green check marks that make it a huge, huge difference. Okay. Auto UI is a unified model that can be adapted to different scenarios without the need to train specific models for each task. So previous approaches were training individual models for tasks, for individual things to do. One of them would learn how to search uh, on Lowe's. One of them would learn how to, uh, I don't know, 
make a PowerPoint slide, like they would be separate. Um, whereas, so most previous methods actually were not unified. They had to, whereas this one can actually just do basically everything. Um, second, auto UI unified does not need additional annotations uh, and is easy to use. Meaning previous methods needed like annotations, written stuff to explain what's happening. They needed to be like babied along. They needed to have their hand held through the entire thing. This increases the percentage accuracy a little bit, but importantly, doesn't need its hand held, which is a huge, huge difference, right? Uh, here we have different uh, categories of what it's actually doing. Um, these graphs, keep in mind, this starts at 50% right here, so it's not actually that tiny, that little bar isn't that tiny. But basically, um, for typing in text, accuracy is 93%, reasonable, given that it's a language model at the base of this. For uh, action type, as in knowing what to perform, what to do, 90% accuracy. Um, for scroll direction, 82% accuracy, which, um, I mean, that doesn't sound super impressive, but think about it. Like, it in order to know the direction to scroll, you have to be able to assume what information is in either direction on the page. So like you, you would have to be able to assume, oh, if I scroll up, there'll be like an introduction there or a search bar up there. Or if I scroll down, I'll find more information or I'll find more in-depth information. So it actually does convey some interesting meaning there. Um, and then click, 67% uh, accuracy in actually like trying to click on something. Um, it, it, to be clear, it knows what to do. Action type is correct 90% of the time, but in terms of like actually implementing the click, 67% um, of the time accuracy in general across general, which I don't really know what that category is. It's not an average. It's like a general web apps or something. Um, installing stuff, I think. Google apps, self-explanatory. Web shopping, Amazon, self-explanatory kind of thing. So we can navigate those those contexts pretty, pretty well. Um, here's the big thing. Here's the thing that I thought was absolutely crazy, right? Auto UI on Flan Alpaca. They're using a smaller open source, well, not small, it's the large Alpaca, but they're using a relatively small, like it's because it's an open source model. Like this thing, don't get me wrong, love Alpaca, no shade here, but it's not that good. Like they're not using ChatGPT, especially they're not using the, the paid version GPT-4. This accuracy rate would probably be so much higher, absurdly so, if they were to fine-tune GPT-4, um, and you can already find a GPT-3, probably already a huge improvement right there, I'm guessing, but uh, GPT-4 fine-tuning is rumored to come out in November. Um, like, come on, uh, that 74% jumps to like 95% right then and there. Uh, just, that's my prediction, 90-95%. Like, that's crazy, at least 85%. Um, this is, is huge, right? The fact that they're using an open source model that is not the state of the art, that is not the best one possible, like not even close really, is absolutely crazy. Um, I think that's it for there. But just think for a second about the implications we have going on here, right? Like the, especially when you combine this with um, autonomous agent frameworks, so like a uh, frameworks of prompts that are designed to help language models act autonomously, think autonomously, and perform complex tasks, you give them something like this to execute commands instead of having to use API calls or whatever, especially a GPT-4 version of it in six months. I'm sorry, if your job is to make a PowerPoint, uh, if your job is to write reports in, in Word or um, go with, uh, manipulate Excel and do stat analysis, um, if your job is any white collar job on the computer, if you send emails all day, if you make decisions, send emails, uh, sorry, uh, good luck. Um, other than that, uh, that's the end, I guess. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, hit the bell, whatever the YouTube stuff is, whatever YouTubers tell you to do, please do those things. Um, my channel, if you're curious, I do paper breakdowns like this. I do daily um, summaries of all the newest AI papers, so come check it out. But uh, yeah, end of video.